today we're going to talk about how to customize the colors and some of the key images on your 17th Avenue theme. So we're going to start by clicking up at the top left hand corner of your screen on your website name, or it just may say your site or something along those lines. So go ahead and click on that. And this is going to take us to the front end of your website. Now, I know mine is already completed, but we're going to just kind of go through how to do this before I show you when I did this. So we're going to click on Customize. And here is where we can control a lot of what you see on the homepage and globally on your website. So we have all of these different categories, site identity, accessibility, theme colors, theme settings, menu, widgets, homepage settings, theme settings, theme SEO settings, and additional CSS. So let's start by looking at the site identity. As you can see here, we can add the logo, we can add the site title, and we can also add the site icon. The site icon will show up here in the tab next to the name of your website. You'll see a lot of websites will have this. It's another identifier of a website, similar to what a logo looks like. So behind all of these categories are more customizations that you can make for your website. Theme colors is where you can adjust the colors of your theme and they further break it down into smaller subcategories to make it easy for you to manage. We've got theme settings and we'll go through all this one by one. We've got our menus and there's another place to access the menus that I prefer to use on the back end of the website and we'll go through that as well. Widgets. These are all the different sections on the home page of your website or blog. So each one of these sections has a number associated with it over here. And again, we'll go through these individually. It even breaks down like the footer. So this is where you're gonna make all those changes. Your homepage settings. So now that you understand where we're gonna make these changes, let me show you how to do that. Okay, we're gonna start with site identity. And this is where we can select a logo to go up here at the top of our website. Then we can change the site title. Here I'm gonna change it to the name of my website, H Magnolia Co. And you can see, it will be up at the top of your website if you don't select a logo. But let's go ahead and drop in a logo. I'm just adding my alt text. And do not use this as a guide for your SEO. This was for demonstration purposes only, absolutely ignoring all SEO. Now you're going to see that it's really huge at the top of the website. Sometimes this is a little glitchy. You've got to change something else in order for it to accept your changes. So just by dropping the logo width size, it changed it, but I can turn that back up to 300, which I will do later. It just needed me to do that to populate. While we're in here, let's go ahead and select a site icon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this little logo that I have. And as you can see, it went ahead and added my site icon, which will show up in the tab to help identify what website people are on. Again, don't forget to hit publish to save your changes. And as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and change that logo width back up to 300 and it's not gonna affect the size in the header. and we're hitting publish to save our changes. Next up, let's work on our theme colors by clicking on Clover theme colors. We're gonna click on header and navigation and we can adjust the colors for all of the headers and navigation throughout the website here. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in my hex code 
Now, I don't have the navigation menu for my website up yet, but this would change the color of the words in the menu up top. So now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to change out all the hex codes to match my brand colors. I highly suggest if you don't have a branding kit that you make one. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It just needs to be easy to access and see so that you can go ahead and copy your hex codes right in when you need them. That'll make the process much quicker. All right, I'm gonna speed this up and I'll be back to teach you some more. And you can see what a difference changing those colors makes. We haven't even dropped any content in and it's already starting to look a little bit more like our brand. Before I go any further changing colors, I wanna go ahead and drop in this image at the top of my homepage so that I can make sure that the colors for the buttons in that section pop against the picture. We're gonna head over to Clover Theme Settings and click on Front Page. And here we're gonna scroll down to where we see front page one background image and select image. If you don't already have an image uploaded, you're gonna go ahead and upload the image and select it. And here you can see it populates at the top of our front page. Now I can go ahead and further customize my colors to make sure that those buttons are really popping against that picture. If you're interested in learning how to customize those front page widgets, be sure to check out my next video.